Brooksaw Antiques here. Today we have this 1929 Corona 4 vintage portable typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. It has the crinkle finish, gold, rose gold, and black. Very rare and pretty. Up top is the adjustable paper guide. Just helps you guide the page in straight. And behind the carriage are the margins. And you just push them and move them like this with your thumb. And just make sure that they're in between these paper fingers or, or else you'll get stuck on them. So this is your right margin, this is your left margin, and this is the paper support arms that flip up from the back. And these paper fingers up front are adjustable as well. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit the line space, gets it back to the beginning, and skips one or two spaces. Right now, we have it on single, but if you want double, there's a little switch back here, and you just kind of squeeze it up, and then it'll skip two when you hit that, and just push it down. It skips one. We're going to keep it on single for now and finish typing. And as you can see, all the keys type nice, and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. The sound alone is just worth it with this. Almost 100 years old. Print looks really good. I accidentally went too far up on that second line. But if you just use the line space, you'll never have that issue. Very nice typing machine. This is one of the most classic ones that you'll find. It's got that really pretty gold finish, black glossy. To pull the page out easier, there's a switch back here. You just flip it up like this, and it unlocks the rollers underneath the plat and allowing you to pull the page out easy. Or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page, or else it won't load correctly. We're gonna flip these back down. And we got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear that, just hit the shift button again. Backspace on the right side, looks good. Margin release above that. So you get to the end of the margin, there's a locking mechanism so the keys won't print. But if you hit that margin release, it will allow you to type past that. That works good. And the color selector switch is on the left side. It's got a red marker up up top. If you push it all the way up, it will print the bottom portion of the ribbon. If you have it in the middle, it won't print anything it'll just hit the platen if you have it on the bottom it prints the top portion of the ribbon that's meant for if you have a dual ribbon which has the red print on the bottom and the black on top and all the brand new ribbon is loaded on the left side i believe you can pop these off just by squeezing them and pulling them off so all the brand new ribbon is loaded on this left side so it's pulling to the right and if you want to switch the direction you just either one of these little holders you just flip it to one the opposite direction it'll start pulling now it's pulling clockwise to the left we want to keep that pulling to the right so we're going to flip that down that works good and then pop this back on there's a little latch on the back side and you just kind of line that up and then it snaps right in in the front um, the front actually goes into this little hole here so once you just kind of squeeze it so we put that in like this and then it's right over and then line this up with the hole. That should be good enough. I don't know if I did the backspace yet. On the right side here, that works good. Carriage release on each side on this model. Very smooth. And this is your carriage lock. This little switch on top of the knob. And you hit the carriage release at the same time. It'll lock the carriage in the middle. So when you have it in the case, it doesn't bounce around. And this is the carriage release on this side. This is your other margin release. So see how it stops on that left, on that margin here, right there? If you just lift that up, it, you can get past it. And that works on both sides, so you can get to the end, skipping that margin as well. And if you push, if you pull out the knob, so this right knob, if you push it in, you have spaces when you turn the knob, and you pull it out. You turn it, there's no spacing, so you can get to, to an exact spot on the page. You push it in, and that's when you get the clicks.
And that's it, now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.